To Texas now, where an early start to the wildfire season is wreaking havoc. An out-of-control fire, part of a cluster that has formed, is tearing through the northern Panhandle region and is now close to becoming the biggest in the state's history. This is video shot by firefighters of flames jumping a highway in front of them. Several rural communities remain under threat, prompting Governor Greg Abbott to issue a disaster declaration covering 60 counties. A smokehouse creek fire is the biggest threat right now. It has already scorched nearly 3,500 square kilometers of land, leaving a trail of destruction of heartbreak in some areas. Officials have issued mandatory evacuation orders, forcing thousands of people to seek shelter elsewhere. Let's stay on this story now. We, we have reached Terrell Bartlett. He is the mayor of Canadian. It's a city in Texas. Welcome to the program. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Well, I just want to see how you are doing right now with what's happening around you. <clears throat> oh, we're all doing fine. Um, Everyone is back in town. Uh, the roads have all been reopened. Uh, the evacuation orders have ceased. Everyone is back in their homes and do it well, the ones that still have a home. Um, everyone is doing fine. Everyone's helping each other, uh, you know, cope with their loss. And that is what's so amazing to see is just people helping people that they don't even know. and. It's just very comforting to see people pull together in the times of crisis. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, how many homes were lost in your community? Well, there isn't a definitive number yet. There's still several homes. Um, this is a very rural community. Um, it's going to be upwards of more than 50, which doesn't sound like a lot, but Canadian is just a small town of about 2,500 people. So that's that's a pretty big loss for us. That is a very big loss. What about the fire situation? You're saying everybody's returned now. Are you confident that the fires are under control? Well, mostly there are still a couple of fires uh, burning. One is north, one is northwest. Both are 10 to 14 miles away. Um, they are not very big. Um, but the concern is the wind shift that's supposed to happen tonight. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to shift out of the east, which um, I, there's just, I, right now there's not much left to burn. So if, mm -hmm. <laughs> if it does shift, it's probably not going to do much. But there are other areas that are still battling um, grass fires. Now, this is the earliest uh, Texas has ever seen a fire season start. What are your thoughts on that? I, it was just, it's really from, there's a lot of fuel from, we've had a, quite a bit of rain, or at least a lot of rain for us in the last few years. Um, the um, As far as I know, no one really knows how this started. Um, it was a small town, or started next to a small town called Stanett, Texas. At least that's where this fire started. And then it just, it's just, it's what we cope with a lot during the spring. We actually get a lot of high winds. We get 50, 60, 70 mile an hour wind gusts quite frequently around here. Um, it's from the down sloping winds off the eastern side of the New Mexico Rocky Mountains. And it's just, yeah, it creates uh, some windy days. Yeah, sure does. Uh, what does your community need most right now? Um, like I said, there's there's people from all over sending material and supplies, and um, it's it's kind of a I shouldn't say it's a joke, but it's the last thing we need is water because. Uh, Everyone just seems to send pallets and pallets and truckloads of bottled water, and um, we just get inundated and covered up. We could fill our swimming pool with bottled water. <laughs> <laughs> I um, guess that, that's probably a nice thing now, but that's not what you need right now is bottled water. Right. Um, right now, the immediate need is just fencing material 
to rebuild fences that were burned during the fire. It was kind of surreal last night because after a lot of fences burned, we had cattle and horses just kind of roaming around town, um, which kind of just seemed weird. Yeah. Well, I hope your town gets back to normal soon, and we're wishing you all well from Canada to Canadian. Yeah. I, I was wondering if you were going to ask the, where the name came from. Well, where did it come from then? <laughs> from us? Well, actually, there's, it's called the, there's a river that cuts through the Texas Panhandle called the Canadian River. Oh, okay. And it starts, it starts in New Mexico and then cuts across Oklahoma and joins the Missouri River. But well, we feel we have... We feel we have a tie to you guys there, so wishing you all the best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, thank you very much. Thank you. That's Terrell Bartlett in Canadian, Texas.